I'm going to be attempting to make sushi in just a few minutes. It's not going to be pretty, but luckily I'm joined by the owner of Pembroke's first sushi place, the Sushi House. This is Sasha, Sasha Lee Brunette. What is your background? Your, in, your name is spelled so interesting. I'm actually native. I'm actually um, from the region. I was born and raised here. Okay. But, you know, Sasha Lee is actually just a creative name that my parents decide to have fun with. Here, it's a curveball to all, to all of us who are trying to figure out how to pronounce it. So why did you want to be Pembroke's first sushi place? Um, well, when I first moved back here, I actually didn't think that I was going to open a sushi restaurant. Mm -hmm. I previously had one in Montreal, so, you know, I was, um, you know, one of the first in the east end of Montreal, and I decided to move back to my hometown, and here we are. I just decided to open one up. And how have people of Pembroke, how have they reacted to having a sushi restaurant? I actually didn't think that they were going to react as strongly as they did. With the military close by and with the new college opening up, it's just been, it's been hectic. I wasn't ready for the, for the doors to be open, actually. Which is great. It's only been four weeks, right? Yes, and they've been rushing in and just getting takeout and sitting in in the beautiful ambiance with candlelit dinners. And it's just been really amazing. I'm really happy. It's a lovely restaurant. Thank you very much. Uh, what are you going to try and teach me how to make? <laughs> well, I'm going to attempt to teach you. <laughs> uh, we're going to do smoked salmon and cream cheese. Mm -hmm. It's actually called my flamenco roll. It's a very popular one that I've been doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. So you start off by putting the rice. So you can go ahead and grab your, your okay. rice here. Now you mentioned I should put a certain oil on my glove. That's right. You haven't put it on yet. So you have to put the sesame oil on first so the oil doesn't, uh, I mean the rice doesn't stick. So here you go. Just rub it in. Otherwise, it just sticks right to the glove. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'm you're surprised. gonna have a hard time. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't just stand back and laugh at me as I tried. Okay, and just so I need a ball of yeah. it. Yeah, do a little okay. ball. Place it in the middle, mm -hmm. and then just push it down towards you. Don't get it all the way to the seam. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and push it all the way up, just in little motion, squishing the rice on. Mm -hmm. Actually, I shouldn't be doing this, because then everybody's going to have my secret at home, yeah. and then I won't have any customers. No, trust me, it's never the same when you're trying to do it at home, for me anyways. Yes. Okay. My little, a little bit more rice here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I filled out to the corner. Perfect, and then you have to make sure you put it down just a little bit. This is kind of like the glue that holds everything together. So, so it doesn't just like fall out. Okay. We'll see if that happens to you later. <laughs> it's going to. <laughs> All right. Next step. All right. So you go ahead and you put your ingredients in. Okay. So what are we working with here? They look like we got cucumbers. cucumbers. Okay. And then we have some caviar. It's called masago. It's so bright. Yeah. It kind of looks like little jewels. Mm -hmm. There. Perfect. Go ahead and put that in. Thank you. We have the smoked salmon. Okay. Now you also mentioned that you make gluten-free rolls, right? I also make gluten-free and I really want to promote it because my family is gluten intolerant mm -hmm. and it's just so hard to go out and eat in a restaurant because you're always asking, hmm, do you have gluten-free this or do you have gluten-free that? And the selection in restaurants are just not that big. Mm -hmm. So people suffer and I just know that when my mom and sister found out that they were gluten-free, mm -hmm. to go out and eat in a restaurant just became such right. a burden for them. So we're almost out of time. Will you show me how to roll it before we go? All right, so you flip the, the roll around. Okay. Go over, pinch it, yep. hold it in tight, mm -hmm. and then just keep rolling. There you go. It's not as much of a disaster as I thought. No, it didn't. You're it an didn't amazing fall apart. <laughs> Stay with us. We've got more coming up from the sushi house here in Pembroke.